new movie with Diane. He's kind of annoyed with the pro-choice attitudes of many in the music business, and in particular a group called Rock for Choice. Gary Cherron joins us now. Now, are you correcting me, in because this is the, the research that we have, that you're not angry at anybody, but you want no. to get your point of view out, right. which is what? Uh, well, first of all, it's almost a, dis a disclaimer as far as um, I know how sensitive the issue is and uh, how hot the topic can get. So uh, the letter was brought on by, uh, you know, my peers, you know, everyone from, from Eddie Vedder, it was an open letter to Eddie Vedder, to the majority of the rock community seems to be on the pro-choice side and right. seems to have cornered the market on women's rights. And me being on the other side wanted to make uh, um, a defense of, of the pro-life position being the ultimate. All right, I have never star. heard a rock star, I've heard some country <laughs> music people, but never heard a rock star being um, pro uh, or, or being against abortion. Right. Why are you? Why am I? Well, I was pro-life before I, I, was, I sang in a band, you know. And how did that come about? How did you form uh, that opinion? Well, you know, I, maybe I, I, I grew up in a pro-life family, and I was a maybe a moderate pro-lifer where I had, uh, you know, the, the exception to the rule. And I ended up not being able to justify that exception because the more I learned about the subject, the more and more it seemed obvious to me that the unborn are fully human. And So this and, is your belief? Now, is well, that well, no, 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 because I don't base, uh, you know, the letter is not based on a political agenda, it's not based on a religious faith. Oh, but you believe that the fetus is a human being? Well, it's not a matter of my opinion. Um, you know, the, the world is round. You can believe that the world is flat all you want, but right. the world is not flat. Uh, a fetus, an embryo, a zygote, uh, whatever, you, whatever you want to call those stages of de development, life begins, uh, your life, my life, uh, anybody's life begins at the moment they come into existence. So you believe you that argue. life believes at, uh, begins at conception. There's no other point. There's no other point after that that can differentiate life from non-life. When you hear doctors and other people disagree with you, mm -hmm. saying that you know the fetus isn't viable to uh, till this time and that time, you know there's a million different right. explanations. Can I how stop do you? you? How well, do you react to that? Well, first of all, um, I'm, I can't accept the assumption that the fetus is inviable. Um, when did? So, but how do you react to the people? See, look, well, we got you. We know what you okay. believe now. Right. We know what you think and why sure. you think it. Now, how do you react to the people who disagree with you? Um, by trying to reach. Uh, okay, by writing this letter mm -hmm. and uh, trying to come up with some common ground. So you try to persuade them. Of course, everybody. You know, uh, uh, we come to our truths based on reality. Do you get angry with them? Uh, I get frustrated because frustrated. Uh, I have, the majority of my friends are pro-choice. I present my position and I think it's a sound argument. I, I'm not saying because I say it. Sure. Uh, it's a sound argument. You, you it's think a it's argument. a sound argument and, and, and many people And, and do. they don't refute it, but at the end of the day they say I don't care what you say, whether it's reasonable or rational, rational or log logical. So you win the debate and they're still not going to give you any right. credit. That's a frustrating right. thing. Now, has anybody in the rock industry attacked you? Have you had reprisals uh, here for this? Um, well, I'm, dis you know, I'm disappointed uh, the fact that um, Eddie did not respond to the letter um, privately or publicly. This guy, uh, he's in Eddie the Bell. Rock for Choice group, right? Uh, he's uh, the lead singer of Pearl Jam, which I'm a big fan of. Pearl Jam. Uh, and I respect him as a singer and a songwriter. And I, res I respect his opinion, um, but I, I, I want to make the, I want to make the point that uh, as far as when does a woman become a woman, um, a woman becomes a woman the moment she comes into existence. As far as I'm concerned, the pro-choice side, pro slash pro-abortion side, are jumping on the bandwagon nine months after the fact. I'm you know I'm going to use it I'm intent intending uh, intently using Patricia Island. I'm I'm a women's rights activist. When she came into existence, she didn't have a choice to come into existence. She is, okay? She doesn't, acqu she doesn't acquire her rights. This is an right. inalienable right. That's okay. my argument as a, as a, as a pro But have you been punished for your stance? Uh, Tell the ostracized? truth. Yeah, ostracized? Yeah, sure. ostracized. Uh, sure. Courtney Love won't talk to you, other people like uh, that, you know, that kind uh, of thing. Yeah, right. Uh, um... Yeah, yeah. This thing's been going on. The, this things have been going on the internet. Uh,
the fact that uh, I was attacked for my opinion and not the argument frustrates me. They right. couldn't refute the argument. So they I, I to you personally. Right, I, I challenge, listen, you know, I know how hot an issue it is, and I'm, I'm the minority when it comes to this issue in the rock community. Uh, I respect the, the other side. I challenge the other side. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's what we do here all the time, uh, Mr. Sharon, and we appreciate your point Thank of you. view. You have a lot of guts. We appreciate it. Thank you. Next, we'll wrap things up. The most ridiculous item of the day, and some of your men.